Hi guys, welcome back to this new video. Today we'll talk about how to deploy a single node OpenShift cluster. Okay, so to proceed, let me show you first how it look it looks like your your new uh, cluster by the end of this uh, deployment or this uh, video. We will have this kind of view. Okay, I have a single node uh, OpenShift uh, cluster right now, as you can see. So this is this kind of uh, cluster that we will have. You will be able to deploy by the end of this this video. Okay, so. And uh, also, by the way, please do consider to subscribe to our channel and also like, or comment, and share this video. This helps us a lot to grow this channel. Thank you very much. So let's go. The first thing to, uh, that I will do is to show you the architecture that I will follow to deploy my environment of a single, uh, single node OpenShift cluster. Okay, so let me show you the architecture. Here in the architecture, I have a, a, a node called utility node where I will deploy all the, the GCP server, the firewalling, the DNS also. Okay. And I will have my OpenShift single node, which will be a virtual machine. This one also is a virtual machine. Okay. So this one will pass in through this node to have access to the internet. This is how I implement my, my, my environment. Okay, so this node is already deployed. Let me show you the, how the, the, the configuration of my uh, DSP server on this uh, utility node. Okay, because we have to deploy uh, this DSP server to let during the deployment of uh, this node uh, to pick up a specific address uh, from your, okay, from the switch that has been already configured. We have a, a specific virtual switch that has been configured to a DSP addressing so your node will be able to pick up an ip address in this gcp range uh, in this range uh, governed by this uh, gcp server so let's go on this uh, gcp server to view the configuration and uh, before proceed let me show you the, the different steps that i use the steps that i use to deploy the gcp server I will install the packages, okay? The package TCP server, and I, have, I configure it like this one, okay? And also for the DNS server, or DNS server also, I have already configured it, as you may see, yeah. And for the firewall also, I have uh, set up the firewall, the forwarding, packet forwarding, okay, with this command, okay? And uh, for rise of the the different services, DNS, DSP, DNS service, and reload of the, the, the firewall services. So let's move on on the node, on the on this specific node. And just to remember you, I am on the, this machine is a physical machine where I intend I have deployed my different, okay, node. As you can see, so I will deploy a new node. Or this node will be my uh, OpenShift single node. I will deploy a single, is another one. I have all, I have already one deployed before, so I deploy another one again. So let's proceed. I will go on this. Uh, okay. Yeah, so here I am on the GSP server. Here is how I have configured it at the moment. I have, uh, I have this node have two interfaces. Okay, one interface connected to this uh, networks, which network is already connected to internet. And on this network also, I have my physical node which is also con uh, connected to this uh, uh, virtual network, okay, as you can see. And uh, for, for the internal network, where the different uh, the OpenShift single node will be connected, this is uh, the single the, the internal network, okay? And uh, this is it, uh, yeah. So now, let's start it, the, let's move on. After done that, uh, we have to go to the Red Hat platform, okay. Let me show you.
yeah so you have to go to visa or red hat console or platform slash open shift where you will be able to see the different uh, you, uh, uh, options that we have uh, to deploy uh, an open shift cluster we have many options you can deploy it uh, through the, the different cloud provider okay you have both options okay you can be can deploy open shift on the aws uh, on the azure and so on but in our case uh, we would like to deploy it in our own infrastructure. So this means that it is a self-managed service. Okay. So we have to hit this button. Okay. To deploy the OpenShift cluster in my own environment. So I have to choose this option. Okay. And you may consider that you may have to register yourself in order to be able to have access to this website. Okay. So after that, I have to choose. I will go to data center level here, okay, data center level. And from there, I will choose the assisted installer because this, this is a very option that I will use to deploy my OpenShift or single, open single node cluster. Okay, so I hit this one, this one, creates. Okay, from there, I have to specify the name of, the, of my new cluster, okay? I can choose any name that I would like to have then it can be this one OCP4. It can be, in my case, I will choose 82. Okay, this, is the, this will be the name of my cluster. Okay. And uh, the domain that I want to use is uh, example.com domain. And after that, I have to choose uh, the release okay, of, of a version of OpenShift that I would like to use. In my case, I will choose uh, this particular version, this one. Okay, this is the version I would like to use. Uh, and uh, Regarding my specific uh, single node that I would like to, to, to deploy, I have to, to click, or uh, it's very important, okay? Unless uh, your, the installer cons will consider that or uh, you would like to deploy a multi-node cluster environment, okay? But in my case, uh, I would like to deploy it uh, on, on only one node, so it will be a single node. So I have to check this button, okay? And after those that, I'm okay to proceed. Let's move on. I leave other options by like that. And also I don't have to choose this one because uh, my purpose is not uh, to uh, to show you those uh, uh, capabilities, okay? Uh, uh, OpenShift virtualization, uh, multi cluster engine, and so on. I don't have to use that this one at this moment, okay? And so I will hit, I will click the button uh, next. And now this is a uh, very interesting part, okay? I will click the button add host and from there I will have to import a public key which permit me to access the letter to my single node okay so I will hit I will uh, have to choose a public key I have already generated one before here it is you can generate it from any uh, I mean uh, any uh, Linux cluster okay any any Linux environment you can generate a public key and the uh, uh, private key okay okay but keep care aware about the fact that uh, you have to take care about uh, your private key because it is with your private key key that you will be able to connect later to your environment okay so be, be consider that uh, you have to keep uh, very secure your private key me have already done that so i just need to send off a public key okay but the private key have to be ke uh, kept uh, sorry you have to take care about uh, your private key never and ever send your private key uh, to anyone else uh, okay in your environment so let's uh, copy the private key Yeah, we import a public key. Let's see. Okay, and from there, okay, I will be. It will be able to generate the ISO for me. Okay, so I will download the the, the ISO by click on. I will use this button to download the ISO. Okay, so let's do that. Now I will go back on my uh, physical host. I want to download it uh, on this folder.
Greece. So the ISO is there, as you may see, the ISO is there. So now I can now move on the next steps, which will be here to download, to start up the, the creation of my uh, new node. Okay. Is here is the, the comment okay, that I already prepared. Virt, virt install the name of the host that I will intend to deploy on, the size of the memory, to is uh, 16 uh, gig, okay, uh, 12 uh, vCPU, okay, and uh, all those I will have to specify also, yeah, the MAC address that I will intend to assign to my uh, to the interface of this node, okay, and consider that this MAC address uh, it have to be correspond to the MAC address that has been already registered on this uh, DSCP server because it is based on this MAC address that of the new IP address will be assigned to my uh, single node. As you can see, I have uh, this uh, one. Okay, this I so based on this MAC address of my uh, okay my uh, DSCP se server which uh, listen on this uh, particular uh, switch. Okay, will be able to assign uh, an IP address uh, to the new node. Okay. So let me show you. Yeah, this is it. Okay. So thank you very much. Let's move on. Everything is okay for me. So I can. Uh... Okay. Let me show you also another thing of the different uh, virtual switches that I have in my environment. In my, uh, yeah. As you can see, I have already my uh, virtual switcher that I have uh, in this uh, physical loader that I mean visualizer with KVM. Okay. And this one also the management switcher which I need to have access to internet, as you can see. So let's proceed uh, to the installation. As you can see, I'm ready to go. Just uh, perform a last check. Yeah, the uh, powerful to the grid. So now I can proceed. This port will, be, will permit me to have access to the console of my uh, single node just to see what happened uh, during the deployment. Okay, it's very important if you, I would like to see what happened inside this node uh, during the deployment. Uh, I should have access uh, to this okay, physical machine. I will get access uh, directly to this, uh, uh, this uh, virtual uh, machine okay, through this port. So first, I will connect her to the IP address of, her, of my uh, physical machine, and I will uh, assign this specific port. Okay, so it is a uh, an capability that gives to me uh, the KVM technology that permits me to have access to the console of this node. So let's proceed. Yeah. So now I have to go to the con if I would like to see what happened. Okay. At the moment, let me. But before proceed, let me show you what's happened here. Normally, the system should detect the new host. Just wait a moment to let the system detect the new host. Okay. But meanwhile, if I would like to see the console, let me connect on my uh, on the on the physical machine. Okay. So to do that, I will use over. Let me use other. Okay, the VNC console. Let me show you five. So this IP is a, the IP of a physical host. Okay, as you can see, and the password that has been required to me here is this password. If you, this part, you password that I have set, okay? Great, as you can see. As you can see, a new IP address has, has been assigned to the node, as you can see, okay? The address 204 has been assigned out to the new uh, virtual machine, okay, or the new node. So let's go back uh, here.
Yeah, great. So the host has been detected successfully. This is great. It's ready to proceed. But before that, let me update for your host name because this name is done. I don't like this name, so I can uh, update this host name by clicking the button here. Change host name. I can call it uh, master01 for instance. Okay. If I would like master01. Yeah. So now I, I'm ready to proceed to the next step. So everything is okay. As you can see, that is that Mac has ready. So now let's proceed to the next. So you can check, double check of the uh, different settings. So, but normally everything is okay. As you can see, the, the internal IP or address range has been uh, detected successfully. So I can proceed. Last check again. So the cluster name will be a uh, will be a uh, 82 and dot, dot example dot com as you can see and the version of OpenShift that has that will be deployed on this uh, node will be here uh, this uh, particular version okay so yeah so let's proceed I click to on the installer and the installation will begin great so let's go back on the VNC. You will see that uh, something will be uh, restart shortly. It will take some uh, a time, okay? So we can go and take some coffee and something like that, uh, just so to let uh, the system start or let uh, the installer start of the deployment on your nodes. Very quick, very interesting and uh, automated uh, technology. Let me show you. So preparing the installation. Great installation completed successfully. So that great. And now we can have access to the console. Okay. So I have just to, I can copy the, the link, uh, just say that normally I will use it within my, I have already set up all those internal resolution. Okay. So for instance, for 82, okay, the IP address that I have to be resolved is this one. So let's try to have access to it and see. Yeah, great. Good response. Great. And now the, the, the credentials has been given by uh, the Cube admin credential. So we see cube admin password, yeah. Great. Congratulations, your 
single node OpenShift cluster is up and running. And uh, yeah, so this is how we can deploy your, your, your OpenShift cluster in the single node. This is uh, it. Okay, so this is what I would like to show you. I hope that you appreciate it. Okay, and uh, if you have any que question, please do not hesitate to send it to, to me. And also consider to subscribe again to our channel, like it and uh, share it. Mm -hmm. Permit us uh, to grow the channel and uh, do a uh, much more video like that uh, to improve uh, your knowledge in, this, in those different fields uh, of technology. So thank you very much uh, and uh, take care. Bye from now.